So let's talk about what is the what are the differences between mass and weight, lah. Because uh, some people always confuse uh, these two, lah. So we all know um, that mass is measured in kg, uh, but weight is a force, so therefore it's measured in newtons, lah. And uh, what other difference differences that we have? Your which one is vector, which is scalar? Mass is scalar or vector. S scalar but your weight which is a force must be a vector now uh, what about uh, another thing now the mass is always constant regardless of the field strength that's another difference what does it mean uh? that means anywhere you go your mass is still the same uh? now let's say your mass is 60 kg uh? so if you are in the moon or on the earth or in Mars your mass is still the same your mass never changes now, what is the definition of mass? That's another question. Why never changes? Because in the... I mean, some people, uh, they will define mass as amount of matter. I think some of you all learn as that. Uh. But we don't use the definition mass is the amount of matter. Rather, we define mass as a measure of inertia. Understand? Uh? That's the definition of mass. And what is inertia? Uh, I think I explained to you in um, Newton's first law, right? Did I tell you? Inertia is a property of body which resists changes to a state of motion. So therefore, mass is how much inertia you have. So the bigger the mass, the more inertia. Correct? Not? Because for example, if you have a train traveling in, along a railway track, if it's suddenly, um, if the train driver suddenly notices somebody crossing the track, it cannot stop in time. Right? Why? Because its inertia is very big. Because the mass of the train is very big. That's why even if the train driver applies the brake, it will take very, very long to stop. That's called inertia. But if it's a very small object like cycling, the moment you try to press the brake, you can stop straight away because the inertia is small. So the bigger the mass, the bigger the inertia. Right now. So therefore, we define mass that way. So it never changes. But weight, since it is a force, where does that force come from? Is actually what? The gravitational force, which is the force exerted by the gravitational field. So therefore, wherever we go, the weight that we feel will depend on the gravitational field strength. Like on the Earth, we will feel the field strength as 9.81. But once we go, on, go over to the Moon, the field is weaker or stronger. Weaker. So our weight is smaller. So we will feel lighter there. Alright, we will feel like we lost a lot of weight then. Understand? That's the difference. Lah. Okay? So these are the differences. So you must make sure you must know the difference. Ah. Let's try some questions. <laughs>